Green. Uh, it is absolutely true. I mean, there are different interests at stake. There are different business models. Uh, and as was highlighted in the overview presentation, the concept of an ISP as the what was an intermediary is now much broader than just an ISP. But it's not just intermediaries. There's an entire ecosystem out there of players in this mix. And intermediaries are positioned in a certain fashion that may make them seem more attractive to deal with an issue than others, but one has to consider the entire supply chain. You have to go from the consumer through the various places in which information is housed, through the information life cycle, and consider all of these elements, because as we face some of these broad and intractable issues, you can only really deal with them at the ecosystem level. Uh, at that point, though, one has to understand that there are things that can be done if one is an intermedi intermediary but just that you understand that in the context that they are not the only ones that have to do things. This is a shared responsibility across the ecosystem and uh, to take a, a, a tenant that was involved in the OECD security gu guidelines, each has responsibility according to their role. And that is the concept that we have to figure out how to come to terms with because there is this concept somehow that as you find choke points, that's where you want to exert all the control. But the choke points are only appropriate for some of the control. And so getting that balance right is where you sometimes find disagreements and sometimes find that not all harmony uh, can be found. At the same point, you have different sectoral issues. So even if you consider some of the best practices that are suggested, some of them may sound more telecom-oriented or ISP-oriented than they do in a generic fashion. So you have to consider what practices and how they're applied. So when you think about what is appropriate to apply and you think about what are good practices, I, I use the word good intentionally because best indicates that there is one set of practices across all entities, whereas good is more of the concept that there are appropriate practices based on what the context of your position is. Um, so, you know, we have to consider the size of the enterprise, the type of uh, work they're engaged in the nature of the information that might be available in that enterprise and in their business role. And as we look at these issues, these are the issues that create the context in which you evaluate the reasonableness of the opportunity for them to, op to provide some level of control and to have some level of impact. Um, as Mark was saying, uh, times have changed and the immediacy of information may make some of the prescriptions that we had in the past uh, less effective than they used to be and perhaps one of the things that we're doing is looking at these ad hoc agreements to see how new accommodations can be reached that are that share the equities across all parties on how to deal with these issues and so in many ways we're dealing with an area of shifting sands and it's an interesting time for the OECD to start discussing the roles of intermediaries because it is this concept of the term intermediary is now used very broadly at times, I would say over broadly uh, at times, and is, and is ill-defined. So we have to be aware that as we go down this path, we don't over-include in the concept and we don't over-prescribe uh, to those people who are in the state of intermediaries. The, I don't think we're going to see, especially as technology and business models are shifting, that there is necessarily complete harmony going forward or that the pros prospect for complete harmony is any better than it is now because I think we're going to continue to see the need for adaptation. I think what we want to see going forward as much as possible is this constructive dialogue that continues to happen both within the community of intermediaries, uh, from content owners with intermediaries, and across the broad ecosystem so that there is an understanding of what the problem is, there is an understanding of what the solution could be, and there is a way to talk about the solution in the narrowest terms necessary to meet the requirements of the problem. Because what we do find in this space is there is a great opportunity, an unfortunate, often coincidence, of unintended consequences of well-intended approaches to solutions. And the more we can have these dialogues and interchanges, the better we are to make sure that those unintended consequences don't occur, that we tailor the solutions in an appropriate fashion that don't create undue burdens and respect the equities of all sides.